on vacation. Yeah, I know you've been, I know you've been. I know you look like you need a vacation. On the way to New York, we're here at San Diego Lindbergh Field, and I am your host, JJ Manicus, and we are going to travel the globe. Europe, here we come. Quick tip, when you're at the airport, you can't bring this, so have it empty. In San Diego, some airports, they have H2O filters that you can fill your water bottle with. Save yourself three bucks. Look for outlets and USB to get your phone ready to go. Always want it charged. On our way to JFK, we're gonna spend a night in New York City. Well, it's time to hop that red eye. Off to New York we go. What's up? We're here in New York City, 6.30 in the morning, going to the air train, about to hit up uh, Manhattan, got to drop off my bags at the hotel, and then hit the spots. From JFK Airport, the cheapest way to get into Manhattan is via air train and subway for only $7.75. Here we are at the air train, about to hop on and get into the subway station. Remember to get off at Howard Beach Station. It's amazing you can see one trade center from all the way over here. It's about a 30 minute ride into Manhattan from Howard Beach Station. What's the first thing you see when you walk out the subway? One trade set. Holiday in Wall Street, I was able to book it through Travel Zoo for $150 a night, which is really good for a place in Manhattan. Just down the road is where all the money making goes. If you're only staying in New York City for a couple of days, I'd suggest you get the 10 trip metro card for $25. Be sure to download a map of the subway system on your phone. All right, here we are guys, we're at Essa Bagel. About to grab some breakfast. If you're patient and wait in line for about 15 to 20 minutes, you'll be rewarded with a really delicious bagel. We're here in Essa Bagel. After a 20 minute line, smoked salmon with plain king cheese and an onion bagel and a regular cup. We're here walking around New York. If you're on foot in Midtown, you're bound to see the Empire State Building at some point. By the MetLife Building and the Waldorf Astoria. First time I ever went to New York with the family. We were here at the Waldorf in the smallest room I've ever stayed in. If you're looking to stay at this historic hotel, prices start at $300 per night. We're here in Times Square. Found Starbucks. Okay. We're here over at the Starbucks Times Square. There's special Times Square mugs and tumblers. For you Starbucks mug collectors out there, the Times Square mug can only be found at this location. Here we are in Central Park. Three times here and never been. You can see everybody's bike riding, going for a run. And we got people over here doing yoga. What's up? We're walking, trying to find the Great Lawn. It's sprinkling, but I'm still having a good time. I am here in the middle of the Great Lawn in Central Park with a fabulous castle right behind me. So you don't gotta go to England, Scotland, or Ireland to see a castle, you just go right into Central Park and you're right here. I didn't realize how vast this place was until you entered the park. It is huge. I'm not even an hour through this place and not even halfway through it. Um, next up, we're going to the Parker Meridian Hotel. And at the Parker Meridian Hotel, we're going to check out the burger joint by suggestion of our boy Anthony Burdain. This right behind me is Columbus Circle. New York City. Wait till you see the one in Barcelona. We're here at the Parker Meridian Hotel, about to get some burgers at the Burger Joint. We're here at Burger Joint in line. Trying out the cheeseburgers. Shopping in Soho. Fat boy me. Red velvet ice cream. Sandwich. After some rest, I met my friend Tim, who had just moved to New York from San Diego literally that day. We ate dinner at Lombardi's Pizza, which was some of the best pizza I ever had. That says a lot from a pizza connoisseur like me. After dinner, Tim
Tim took me bar hopping around the Lower East Side and then we hopped the subway over to his neighborhood in Brooklyn. At Barry Park in Brooklyn, I discovered this German beer called Schofferhofer, which I had a couple days later in Frankfurt. Well, that'll do it for day one. Stay tuned for part two, where me and my friend Emily explore Top of the Rock and the One World Observatory. So we're here on the top of the One World Observatory. Awesome. Just saw the Parthenon, the Temple of Athena. It's really cool over here. Unfortunately, running out of time. That's 